So it's been six weeks since we got to Georgetown and I think today is gonna finally be our last day here, which... <laughs> Look at you. Here you are, his glasses. Our friends Adam and Lauren are coming in today. We're gonna go explore some more of the Exumas, go back to Staniel Key with them. Uh, we desperately need water, so Jamal, the go for concierge service in the harbor, is hopefully gonna come by and bring us 100 gallons. Then we're gonna be, then we're gonna be off. While we fill up the boat with water and take some much needed showers, we probably should tell you about the other guests that we had come to visit us on this trip. A few weeks before Adam and Lauren arrive, our friends from St. Petersburg and their families come and stay with us in Georgetown. They didn't stay with us on the boat. There were just a few too many people for that, but it was a week filled with four toddlers, six quasi-adults, and enjoying really the best that the Bahamas have to offer, especially when you're with your good friends and have a house that can safely and comfortably accommodate everyone. Sentimental recap concluded. Let's welcome Adam, Lauren, and baby Sadie on board Paradox for the next week. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Sadie, is this your first time sailing on a sailboat? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, it is water. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Hey Maddie, do you like having a friend to share your boat with? You do? Despite the high excitement, the trip did not get off to a good start. Our first day, we sailed from Georgetown to Lee Stocking Island, which was a trip of only about four hours. But the sea state was rolling and both of the kids got sick as soon as we got into unprotected waters. It was certainly not the kind of first impression that we wanted to make, but everyone ended up being an amazing sport. And as soon as we put the anchor down, it was time to have some fun. This is a pole spear. It's meant for underwater use, but we're gonna do some beach games with it. Some javelin bringing. Ready. After that first day, we got into a groove. Whoa. <laughs> Our time together revolved around sailing, exploring the Exuma Islands, and watching the two girls interact as if they were siblings. <laughs> with all of the love and rivalry that that entails. 
Our boat, for two families, was quite comfortable. There was space for everyone and we never felt cramped. This space was one of the main reasons that we had bought our Contest 46 in the first place. in tropical paradise seclusion. It was time to get our guests to Staniel Key where we could enjoy a nice night out and show them the pigs before they had to leave. Hey, you want some more? Thanks for making the trip. Their mouths are so gross. I imagine like if you got bit, it would immediately become infected and your hand would fall off. Oh yeah. It's not every day that you find friends who are willing to spend their precious vacation with your family in such tight and occasionally vomit covered quarters. Visiting cruising friends who have no set schedule and who are in remote locations is expensive, and it can be a bit of a logistics nightmare. So when we get the chance to share our lifestyle with those we love, it's all the more special. So it was with heavy hearts that we said goodbye, and the boat went back to having just the three of us on board. But even now, months after their visit, Maddie still talks about how the bottom bunk is Sadie's and asks, when is she coming back? <laughs> 